in this tutorial i am going to design the brake rotor go to new part click ok and the given units are in millimeters so we needed to change the units either we can change the units from here click on here and select the millimeters or we can click on options go to document properties and select the units here i am going to select the type of unit mm ds millimeter gram second and click on ok then i am going to click on the sketch tab going to select the sketch and i am going to open the sketch on front plane after that i am going to select the circle i am going to draw a circle and then i am going to click on smart dimension i am going to select this circle and put it here the dimension of this circle is 165 then again i am going to left click on circle and select this point when i move my cursor on this point this yellow box near the pencil is appear i am going to put it here and then again select the smart dimension and this dimension is given as 132 sorry 132 now i am going to extrude this circle i am going to exit this sketch click on the feature tab and select extrude and this extrusion uh, thickness is given as 2 millimeter and again i am going to select this sketch i am going to open the sketch on this face and i am going to make it normal so the view of this uh, uh, plane will be normal to us and then again I am going to select circle I am going to draw a circle here and again a circle here the dimension of this circle is given as 60 millimeter and the dimension of this circle is given as 36 millimeter and again I am going to click on exit sketch go to feature tabs and extrude it and make the view isometric and the depth of this extrusion is also 2 millimeter but we needed to change the direction this direction is showing that the extrusion is in that direction but we needed to change it in the opposite direction and put the thickness 2 millimeter again go to sketch tab click on sketch and open the sketch on this surface and go to normal now I am going to draw a center line for my reference. I am going to draw a line here, a vertical line, horizontal line. And then again I am going to select the center line and again draw a line starting from the origin and uh, uh, this center line is touching this circle. Select smart dimension, click this line right click on this line and add the dimension angular dimension 45 millimeter then i am going to click on offset intensities and i am going to select this line i want to offset this line in both direction and the under the parameter the offset distance is 4 and and if it if this line is offsetting in one direction you need it to check the by direction click ok now I am going to select the trim identities and under the trim identities I am going to uh, select the trim closest and I needed to trim this portion and this portion but before doing that I needed to add two more circle I needed to add this circle again and this circle again either I can draw this circle these two circle again and put the dimension or I can uh, simply select the convert identities this command will convert these two circular edges into the sketch so i am going to click the uh, select the convert identities and under the identities to convert click here and select this edge circular edge and this edge when i am going to click ok these two edges will be converted into sketches and the little black edge you can observe it on here now i am going to select the trim identities select the trim to closest and i am going to in this line and I'm going to trim this line and after doing that I'm going to again click on that circle because 
starting from this point to this point i don't need it, this sketch so i'm going to click on here and click on here and again i'm going i don't need it, this portion i'm going to click here and click here and then i'm going to click ok now i'm going to make the model in isometric form and i'm going to exit the sketch and click on feature tabs and select the extrude command and under the this thin feature will be acted we needed to uncheck this uncheck this and our extrusion our extrusion direction is uh, in this direction but we needed to change that in the opposite direction so i am going to click on reverse direction and the extrusion thickness is 2 mm so we have this one extrusion and we needed this extrusion four times so i am going to click on linear pattern and under the types of pattern i am going to select the circular pattern and a window will be pop up window will be appear asking the properties properties of this circular pattern so under the parameters feature to pattern we needed to select the properties so it's asking the parameters for a circular pattern we needed to add a reference point or re reference axis so under this uh, parameters i am going to click here and for my reference i am going to select this circular edge and under under the features to pattern i needed to select the feature which i wanted to pattern so i i wanted this this uh, boss extruded three to two circular pattern it so i am going to click on it now i am going to add the parameters under the parameters i'm i needed four so i am going to select four and under the angular dimension we needed to add the dimensions uh, like the angular between the two tabs or we can select the equal spacing i am going to check this equal spacing it will make these four tabs and divide it on to the 360 angle so i am going to select the equal spacing you see there under the angle the 360 will be appear no these four tabs will be uh, covering the 360 angle and click ok you see these four tabs are added now we needed to make the make the fillets i am going to select the fillet and uh, under the mm, mm, items to fillet under the dimension this dimension is given is six and here we needed to select all the edges which we wanted to make the fillet so i am going to zoom it by moving the middle mouse button and then i am going to select this edge we want the fillet on this edge and we want the fillet on this edge this edge is not appearing so i am going to uh, hold my middle mouse button and rotate it the middle mouse button is used to rotate it so i am going to select this one and the same way i am going to hold my middle mouse button and drag the mouse and when this edge will be in front of us i am going to select this edge and same way middle mouse button rotate the model and select this one and again i am going to hold middle mouse button rotate and select this edge in this way i am going to select the all edges this edge so always remember the mid by holding the middle mouse button you can rotate the model and by a like that and by moving the middle mouse button you can you can zoom in and zoom out and after that we are going to click on view orientation and select the isometric view now you see the all edges are selected and then go and check the ok the fillet is added now we needed to design the uh, uh, circular cuts there is a lot of cuts so we needed we are going to design one cut then we are going to add the circular pattern 
so I am going to select this sketch tab going to sketch and select this face and then I am going to view orientation and select normal to view select circle start from this point and put it here and for this circle we we needed this circle as a reference so I am going to click on this circle and uh, this uh, the properties of this circle will be appear in that I am going to click for construction because this this circle we just needed for a reference for a construction so click OK now you see this circle will be converted into dotted dotted lines appear and going to smart dimension and we are going to dimension is this dimension is given as 45 millimeter and again I am going to select a circle and I am going to draw a circle here on this point which is facing with this point in a vertical so we can add a circle here or if we add the circle anywhere else we needed to define the sketch relation so I am going to add it here and then I am going to go to select add relation I am going to select this point and anywhere on this circle and I am going to add the relation between them is coincident and click OK and click anywhere to select this and then again I am going to select the add relation I am going to select this point and <clears throat> I am going to select this point and make make the relation between this point and this point is vertical so these two points are verti vertical and click anywhere to select this and then again I am going to select this one and this one and the dimension of uh, this circle is given as 5 millimeter now you see every color is turned into black that means our sketch is fully defined we don't need it any more dimension you see fully defined and again exit this sketch click on feature and extrude and again go to isometric view and the thickness of uh, this cut is 2 millimeter we can add the 2 millimeter under the blind type or we can make it through all and now we we needed to uh, make this uh, cut 5 times more so I am going to select pattern circular pattern under the parameter reference I'm going to select this and under feature to pattern we are going to expand it and select this circular and we needed uh, six cuts the cut we are ready uh, already uh, made we are reading we needed to include in this so six cuts are made and the magic is done now again we needed to draw these cuts on the upper of the router so I am going to select sketch sketch select this face and select the view orientation and normal to now I am going to draw three circles select this point draw a circle select this point draw a circle select this point draw a circle and now I am going to make these three circle has a reference circle I am going to select this circle and make it construction going to select this and make for construction and going to select this and make for construction and going to select smart dimension the dimension of this circle is 153 the dimension of this circle is 148 millimeter and the dimension of this circle is given as 143 I'm going to move my dimensions like here 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 after that I am going to draw I am going to draw a line starting from I am going to select center line so center line start from this region and draw it a vertical and the second point is touching the bigger circle and then again select and again I am going to draw a line starting from this point to this point on this circle and again and that's way I'm I'm going to draw three reference line now I'm going to select circle I am going to add my first circle on this point and then second circle on this point and then third circle on this point 
just make sure the automatic relation will not be added dimension this dimension is given as 5 I know I am going to add a relation between three circle because these three circle have the same diameter I am going to select add relation I am going to select this circle this circle this circle and these all three circles have same diameter so I am going to add the equal relation between them now I am going to select this line the angle between this line and this line is given as 5 and the angle between this and uh, sorry angle between this line and this line is given as 10 <clears throat> now I am going to exit the sketch go to feature tab and make the extrusion and going to select the isometric view and make this through all cut no these three circles are <clears throat> cutted no we needed to make the circular pattern and we and we needed these uh, has uh, has a number of 24 cuts throughout this circle so i am going to select circular pattern under the parameters i am going to select a reference for this reference i am going to select this edge and under the number of cuts the number of instances i am going to type 24 and features to pattern i am going to select this circular this extruded cut to immediate jobies we needed 24 and the equal spacing so this is uh, mm, cut is made and our uh, bike router is completed